right? This men's 1500 field this year for the United States was so good that someone really good was not going to make it to Budapest. Turns out someone's not even going to make it to the final. We had Cooper Tier go out in the first round, Gordon. Yeah, so Tom, if you want to scroll down all the way to the bottom of that results page. We Shout can out see to Producer Tom, by the way. Yeah, Producer Tom, all the way to the bottom. Keep going. We can see all three results from the bottom heats, all the way to the bottom. There we go. So we see heat one, two, and three. So let's let's focus on uh, heat three here. All right, let's start. Let's actually go in order. Let's look at heat one. Heat one, man, Sentowitz got lucky. He, he didn't got get lucky. lucky. Stop. He did. He, he got. He got lucky. so. He, he must have paid lucky. on Athletics Club something, or you gave Dathan Rittenhine a little bit of like some. Nah, that's how Yared you know, runs. Starbucks gift cards or something. Because that's how Yared runs. If I know it's how Yared be in runs. The hard heat. No, listen. No, no, no. Stop. Was that lucky. the death heat? That was the heat it of was, death, was it not? It was the was heat of death. Not? But it was, So it's appropriate yes. that they got all the time qualifiers. No, it's, because – hold on. No, 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 no. Because if you would have put Yer Nagus in the heat two and put Hobbs Kessler in heat one, you would still call heat one the death heat. But only three men would have probably come out of that heat. He got lucky because in the death heat happened to be Nagus. And Nagus made it honest. And basically extended Centro's postseason by one more, or I guess by 48 hours. I don't think, yeah, but that's, that's, we don't have a system. We only have, we have big Q's and little Q's still. We're not, no, yeah, I'm not, oh, big Q's. And I think if I'm you, I'm not calling for, I'm that's not a tough heat. It's wrong. Yeah, it was a tough heat to get through. And he, and he, but, the other people could have run faster. That's all I'm saying. That yes, was the first heat. Just Am I right? Central that was the lucky. first heat. That was the first heat, yeah. correct? So the other two heats knew what it took to qualify on time. And what did they decide to do? Go out they, slow. They decided a lollygag. Exactly. I so, guess heat three tr attempted to do it because Matt Strangio went for it in heat three. But, uh, yeah. Central but most of those guys can run 337 is my point. Yeah, yeah. They're capable of running 337. They didn't do it. They could have. They didn't. So the big news, though, coming out of this was heat three. Cooper Tier who I had as the U.S. favorite, gets fourth in the third heat, loses by, what, 0. .04. I don't think he's – I mean, it was a weird ending where it was Tier, Win and Hawker. looked like those were going to be the three. But then Drew Hunter kind of surprises yeah. Tier on his inside. Tier then realizes, tries to go even wider to get around, you know, Win, but it was too little too late. And Hunter just grinded his way – onto the starting line for this final and he took down a guy who i think could have won the final i think tier is good enough to win a final i know he got fourth tier how can you win a final if you get fourth in a prelim things happen 1500 weird where positioning is everything and weird things happen but i was shocked that cooper tier did not make it it screws up the 5k now i'm sure abdi habin nur paul chalimo are now like god dang it I got to go up against these 10K guys, and now I got to go up against mm. Cooper Tier in the mix. So uh, Drew Hunter made a lot of enemies on the, in the 5K field by knocking wow. out Cooper Tier. No, that was a great run from Drew it was Hunter. Great. He's oh, had, don't get me wrong. It was great. Yes, for sure. Well, he's had a frustrating run of it. Yeah. All the hype, all the expectations. So to, to get through there, I thought was huge for him. It was a little strange. If you watch the replay, Tier is directly behind – hawker and oh and moves out a little bit i don't even think it was to go by hawker but just to have a little bit of room so he didn't collide and that movement to the outside gave hunter more space on the inside so he could move through and i don't know if that was just a subconscious thing that happened um or if he was planning on going that way anyway but when i was watching that replay i thought this is this like if Tier had stayed to the inside, and this stuff is impossible to <laughs> hindsight's always twenty twenty, especially in a tactical <laughs> mid distance race. But if he were to stay on the inside, it would have been awfully difficult for for Hunter to get around him. But he did leave a little crack open, and then that crack became a, a much bigger hole, and he just went right through. And Cooper was was to the outside, and it just was uh, maybe caught him by surprise, even so. so Surprised he's not there. We still have a lot of big names in this final, though, Gordon. Oh, I yeah. mean, this is still going to be a real, real 
incredible. I mean, this is going to be an awesome race. I expect Nagus to take it hard from the gun. You got him, Wascom, Gregoric, Thompson, Green, Centro, um, Hawker, Hunter, Wynn, Prakel, Kessler, and Holt. How do you think this race plays out? Uh, I think it's going to be honest. I'll be, I think it's going to be like a 335 race. I think Nagus is going to just be like, this is what I do. I don't think Nagus is going to change up the plan. I think he's going to make it honest. It'll be 335. Oh, you say 335 is – okay, so you think 335 is fast. I think it's going to go faster than 335. Oh. I, don't well, think 335 I look at 335 as like honest, and then everything else is like 337 to 340s or whatever. 335 to me is like an honest 1500. Okay. Well, maybe in the olden days be... it was an honest 1500. Yeah. I mean, only one We're guy in 335. Now. Yeah, I guess, but I don't think they're. You think they're gonna run three thirty twos and stuff and three thirty threes? I think I think Nagus is gonna run three thirty two. Yes, I do. Maybe. Uh, actually, I can see that. 